video is a makeup tutorial on the look on my face right now. It's very, very bold, very dramatic, but it is really, really easy to do. I feel like I say that in a lot of my videos, like this look is so easy, but that's what my looks are, easy. Even though they look crazy sometimes, they're very easy. I was actually totally inspired by this picture I bought. <laughs> I actually bought this on a website called Society6, I think that's what it's called. And I was looking at it today because I was about to hang it up and I was like, wait a minute. Like I wanted to do a pop of color, but I wanted to make it like pretty much the whole lid and like nothing else to it. So this is what I came up with. I gave you guys three lip options. This is like the third lip option. I feel like even though the eyes are insane, it can go with so many different lip colors if you are willing to experiment and be a little bit bold. I really like this look. Personally, for me, I would have done absolutely no false lashes like I would have just packed on the mascara but you guys know I lost a lot of my lashes on my left eye and it just looked weird with just mascara alone I popped on the lashes and I thought with this kind of look because there's no eyeliner I feel like the bolder the lash the better I think it looks cool with the whole like intense neon color so yes enough rambling if you want to see how to get this colorful look then just keep watching so I'm gonna start by priming my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Enigma, and I'm just blending that on my entire lid. The first shade I'm taking is this one by Makeup Geek, it's in the shade Fuji, and I'm just gonna buff that into my crease with a fluffy crease brush. Then I'm gonna take this eyeshadow by Morphe, it's called Sunflower, and I'm just gonna buff that into my crease as well. Now I'm going to take the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Stack and I'm going to take the yellow shade in the stack and I believe this one is called Neon and I'm just pretty much doing the exact same thing, buffing colors into the crease. Now for my lid shade, I'm taking the Melt Stack again and I'm taking the shade Xenon and I am just packing that on my entire lid. And then I decided that the look needed a little bit more yellow so I took Neon one more time and buffed that higher up into the crease. So I didn't think the lid shade was like neon enough or vibrant enough, so I took Electric Warrior by Kat Von D. And I wet the brush using a setting spray and I just, setting spray, I said that weird. Using a setting spray, I just packed that on the lid and then I went on top of it once more with Xenon. I kind of made like a neon green sandwich there. To highlight underneath my brow bone, I took Makeup Geek's White Lies, it's just a matte white. And for my inner corner highlight, I took Makeup Geek's Karma. I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face before I finish up the eyes. I'm priming my face with the Redness Reducing Step 1 Skin Equalizer by Makeup Forever. And the foundation I'm using is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. I'm in the shade Light Sand. And a lot of you guys have been asking me what I think about this foundation. I really like it, it's lightweight and it's pretty dewy, but it's not greasy or anything. I think a lot of people might like this. I like the coverage as well. So I'm just buffing that into my face. And then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes to not only cover up some of that darkness, but to highlight my face as well. I'm also highlighting other parts of my face as well. <laughs> I'm blending that in with my little Kiko brush. I don't know what it's called or how I got it, but it's my little Kiko brush. And I am just blending that in. To set underneath my eyes, I bought this recently because I've heard a lot of people talk about this. This is the NYC Skin Smooth Powder, I think that's what it's called, but it's very messy, like very messy. But it is a really nice powder, so I set my under eye concealer with that. And now I'm finishing up my eyes. I'm taking a nude eyeliner by NARS and I'm just applying that to my waterline. Taking that yellow eyeshadow on my lower lash line and then I'm taking Xenon right on top of it, blending those two colors together with a pencil brush. And then I took Karma one more time and I'm just intensifying my inner corners and I decided I wanted to take it up on the lid a little bit and just drag it on the lower lash line as well. And then to finish off my eyes, I'm just going in with some mascara and some falsies. These are the House of Lashes Noir Fairy Falsies. The new version, it's like the light version. I just put on some falsies and now I'm bronzing up the skin. I'm using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This one is in the shade Bronzer. A lot of people ask me which color I have. I have Bronzer. That's a weird name to give a bronzer, but it's called Bronzer. Moving on to blush, I'm taking this Pacifica Mineral Blush in the shade Camellia and I'm just applying that onto my cheeks. This is a brush I bought at iMats last year. 
yes, oh, highlight. I'm going to highlight my face using the City Color Highlight. And I'm just applying this with a little Zoeva brush. This is actually a really pretty highlight and it was like $2 on Amazon. So, you go City Color. And then I decided I wanted to do three different lip options. This one is for the more toned down gal. Um, this is Aquarius by ColourPop. It's just a nice nude lip, but if you want it to be a little bit spicier, this is the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in a name I can't really pronounce, but it'll be written down below. I think this is my favorite lip option. I love orange and green, so this is my favorite, but if you are more of like a purple gal, this is for you. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cancun. And that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I love it because it has kind of like a shimmery cool tone bronzer and then kind of like a shimmery warm bronzer here on this side. And when you mix them together, you get such a beautiful neutral bronze glow.